why there is a reluctance to take up uh, teaching as the first choice uh, of career have you heard of shakya muni yes sir tell me something about him which uh, philosophy ancient philosophy also used to believe that inanimate objects also have soul or atma can you tell me the background of this particular case and what was the ruling in this case what is the difference between cpi urban and rural why two different sets of consumer price index good morning sir good morning good morning sir good morning sir please be seated thank you sir please uh, give a brief introduction about yourself so my name is shreya shakya and i am from manpuri uttar pradesh and i have done my 12th from manpuri and then i moved on to delhi and i did my graduation from shri guru tegh bahadur khalsa college of delhi university thereafter i also did my post graduation from hansraj college delhi university and currently i am pursuing my bed program and also preparing for upsc tell me shreya why there is a reluctance to take up uh, teaching as the first choice uh, of career uh, sir teaching is also one of my preference as a career option but i have always wanted to be a civil servant so and teaching i keep it as my plan b why uh, candidates like you keep it as a plan b that is what my question is why sir, not plan a sir for me i want to try once i want to try for the civil servants services okay Tell me, you have uh, studied geology, yes, isn't sir. it? We have been hearing about uh, human-animal conflict, man-animal yes, conflict. What are the reasons? Uh, broadly, two, three points. It uh, share with us. What are the reasons for the conflict? Yes, sir. Sir, man-animal conflict. Uh, we generally we are hearing uh, it's in Kerala, the elephant attacks and all. So, sir, the reason I think is. uh we are destroying the habitats of the animals like because of the development we are going far deep into the forest for certain infrastructure projects like highways so we are disturbing the habitat of the animal this is the first reason then another reason is uh sir some other reasons could be invasive species because of the invasive species animal tends to come out of the forest uh so these are the two reasons i think you spoke about kerala there is a wildlife protection act yes sir the kerala wants amendment uh, in the wildlife protection act what exactly is the demand of uh, the government of kerala oh uh, sir i am not aware you are not aware of that okay what is the study of animal behavior is called sir study of animal behavior specifically i don't know you are not aware okay forget about this uh, what is the significance of uh, photosynthesis in marine ecosystem uh, photosynthesis in marine ecosystem so in marine ecosystem photosynthesis is generally performed by the phytoplanktons and then the other organisms like algae which are present so so importance would be uh, managing a proper amount of oxygen in the water which would be utilized by certain marine organisms like the fishes which are present in the water what how about uh, carbon sequestration Yes sir carbon sequestration from the ocean would also be one of the function of photosynthesis tell me you have you gone through the new education policy nep yes sir tell me three things which you have liked in the policy and one which you don't like and you think it's it is unnecessary okay sir in new education policy one thing which i liked very much was uh the importance of vernacular language or the mother tongue so teaching the uh, s- uh, students of class 5th or 4th in their own mother tongue this is one initiative of the new education policy which i liked other would be uh, sir the system which is changed from 10 plus 2 to 5 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4 that system i like because assessment at each level would be good in this way and then sir another thing about new education policy sir uh, the dual degree thing i like the dual degree thing because for example if there is a student of science but then he wants to pursue some part time courses in a foreign language maybe so he can do that also so i like this 
one thing which you really didn't appreciate oh you can't think of anything uh sir uh, no sir uh, what is your reaction to the foreign universities uh, setting up their campuses in our country sir that is a very good initiative i think uh, there is criteria also that the university should be in top 500 ranking only then it can establish its campuses in india suppose they was the these uh, uh, universities set up their campuses in india don't you think that uh, there is, they will these university will, will come in direct competition with uh, our own universities sir competition is always good always good to what could be a flip side of it uh, 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 disadvantage of it just one reason sir one could be that indian university could not cope up with the competition which is provided by the foreign university but sir i don't think that would be the case because we will always aspire to be the best and so there would be a healthy competition thank you very much sir shreya shakya yes sir have you heard of shakya muni yes sir tell me something about him uh, sir shakya muni is uh, the name for lord buddha hmm. so sir we belong to this shakya clan which was hmm. uh, present in the kapil vastu region in present hmm. day nepal hmm. and uh, uh, he got enlightenment when he was a small boy he was known as siddharth siddharth hmm. gautam so he got enlightenment and then he came to be known as shakya muni hmm. or the enlightened one so you belong to shakya clan yes sir so that's very good now can you tell me like uh, when we talk about buddhism and its philosophy uh, which is the most important buddhist teaching there are so many things yes, which sir. one is the most important sir uh, for me one thing has worked and i like that that is the middle path or the madhya marg okay yes sir so uh, this uh, middle path is different from lord mahavir's teaching uh, sir yes sir it is different hmm. sir extreme form of Uh, worship or extreme sir extremism is not the thing for buddhism mm -hmm. in mahavir they did they do fasting and all that's not in buddhism okay. uh, uh sir uh, what is the total population of shakya these days sir uh, total population i cannot be very sure of it mm. but sir they are mainly concentrated in two three districts in uttar mm. pradesh mm -hmm. and uh, at few places in bihar and madhya pradesh mm. and then sir in nepal mm -hmm. so number sir i cannot okay no problem so uh, uh, you are from uh, mainpuri and then uh, also your address somewhere northwest delhi yes uh, uh, do you find any difference between mainpuri and northwest delhi yes sir there is a huge difference uh, just uh, highlight two to three differences the most important differences uh, sir in northwest delhi we find very uh, good infrastructure for the education for example the place where i live the gtb nagar and mukherjee nagar area so students are there who do coaching and the culture is entirely different from what we see in manpuri hmm. so sir in manpuri it's a bit rural area uh, the city is only few manpuri is a district manpuri is a district district so suppose uh, sir uh, you are appointed uh, you become dm of manpuri yes, and uh, you are already you have talked about uh, northwest delhi so yes. what steps you will take to improve the education in manpuri yes sir for the education uh, sir i would like to first of all look into the issue of the teacher absenteeism that is present in manpuri i think hmm. sir for that i am thinking about gps based attendance for the teachers hmm. uh, and then sir absence of students also because students are not interested in studying because what about of, infrastructure uh infrastructure i would also like to introduce digital infrastructure hmm. digital blackboards there is no problem of electricity over there ah uh, sir there is not 24 hour electricity mm -hmm. like that is there in northwest delhi region okay let us move on uh, uh, sir you have been studied from uh, sgtv khalsa college huh? yes sir uh, can you name uh, all the 10 sikh gurus sir all the ten i can, can't but i can try some sir the first one was guru nanak dev then guru angad ji then uh, uh, guru hari kishan was also there then uh, guru gobind singh he was the last one you can leave it leave it no problem uh, uh, you have also done beard from 
Chaudhary Chan Singh University. Yes, sir. Why, sir I'm uh, doing. Uh, uh, do you doing? Yes. Okay, that's good. Uh, so why uh, Chaudhary Chan Singh ji is in news? Yes. Why he is in news? Sir, because he got uh, a prestigious award. Yeah, which one? Sir, he got. Sir, I'm not sure. Besides him, five other persons also received the same award. Yes, sir. Huh. Sir, it is M S Swaminathan. Hey, well, what is the name of the award? I'm not talking about. Uh, okay, leave it. The uh, last question to you hmm. uh, regarding uh, women's reservation bill 2023. Yes. Uh, it has been passed by the parliament, but yet to be implemented. Why? Sir, it's passed, but I don't know why it is not implemented yet. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Sriya, uh, yes. how many districts are there in UP? Sir, there are 75 districts. And how many districts are named after some saints? Uh, uh, number, sir, I don't know. Can you recall some names? Sir, Sant Kabir Nagar. Okay. Sir, Manpuri it is also named after a Rishi who was Mayan Rishi. <coughs> then, sir, not saint, but then Ambedkar Nagar. There is also Ambedkar Nagar. And uh, sir, this is. Is there any district named after a leading lady or very famous woman? Sir, I cannot recall. Okay, why you people of UP are ignoring women in uh, identifying their administrative units? Would, would you advocate for naming some districts after some leading women of UP? Yes, sir, we can name uh, some districts on the name of women. But sir, if only need arise to re rename a very district. Okay. So, which district would like to name after whom? Sir, Lucknow could be named after the Begum who was there. What is the name of the Begum? Uh, sir, I cannot recall the name of the Begum. But sir, since her efforts during the revol revolution of 1857, we can name that district on the name of... Okay. There is a woman nowadays famous, recently famous, as Missile Rani. Okay. Have you heard about her? No, sir, I have not heard. Okay. Uh, government of India has recently integrated many scientific awards and named it Rastriya Vigyan Puraskar. Yes, sir. Uh, how many different awards are contained within that um, <coughs> umbrella? Sir, under Vigyan Puraskars, sir, I don't know how many awards are there. There are four different kinds of awards. Okay. One of that is called uh, Vigyan Yuva, S.S. Bhatnagar Award. Okay, sir. Have you heard about S.S. Bhatnagar? Shanti Swaroop Bhatnagar. Yes. Yes, sir, I know about what him. What was his contributions in development of science and technology? Sir, about him, I know that he was the first chairman of CSIR, Council for Industrial and Scientific Research. Mm -hmm. uh, sir, I am I'm not particularly, I don't know about his contributions. And what are the contributions of J.C. Bose? Jagdish Chandra Bose, yes, sir. Sir, in field, both in field of botany also, he has some contributions. And then in field of science also. So, so he discovered the... Botany is considered as science, I hope. Yes, sir. Okay. So, uh, botany as well and then, sir, physics. Other branches of science. Physics also. Okay. So, for example, he discovered the millimeter waves mm -hmm. much before the Europeans, uh, they did. And then, sir, also he invented a cresmograph. Mm. Uh, that was an instrument to study that the plants also have feelings. Okay. Yes, sir. So, which uh, philosophy, ancient philosophy also used to believe that inanimate objects also have soul or atma? Uh, sir, is it a Hindu philosophy? Indian philosophy, but you have to identify which exactly. Sir, I don't know the name exactly. Sikhism, sorry, Jainism believe, used to believe that even yes, sir. rocks have soul. Yes, sir. Okay. So, Jesse was proved that even plants have emotions. Yes, sir. An example of such plants? Sir, oh, for example, we have Mimosa pudica hmm. or the touch me not plant. So, sir, when we touch the leaves, because of certain uh, water pressure differences, the leaves will wilt. So, we can understand that way that plants also react to what we do to them. And which plants are called hunter plants? Hunter plants? Uh, sir, I can make a guess. No, avoid. Uh, okay. Uh, looking at the climatic conditions of uh, the world, uh, do you think climate change is a reality? If yes, what are the proofs? Yes, sir, climate change is a reality. 
सर प्रूफ इज प्रोवाइडेड बाय द आईपीसीसी रिपोर्ट दैट हैज सेट दैट वी हैव ऑलरेडी वी आर नॉट ऑन द ट्रैक ऑफ रिड्यूसिंग द क्लाइमेट चेंज एज वी हैव द टारगेट इन पेरिस एग्रीमेंट टू रिड्यूज इट टू वन पॉइंट फाइव और टू डिग्री सेल्शियस एंड देन सर अदर प्रूफ आर देयर सर लाइक सी लेवल राइस सो इट इज अ प्रूफ देन एक्सट्रीम वेदर इवेंट्स लाइक the el nino and the la nina difference what are these things el nino and la nina sir generally there is a, a cold ocean current along the western coast of uh, south america but then during the uh, la nina conditions there would be warm ocean current because of which the temperature fluctuations are seen in india also and during the monsoons uh, heavy rainfall is seen in certain regions Okay, my last question, Shreya. Yes, sir. Uh, you said that Manpuri is named after some saint. Yes, sir. And you named him. Yes, sir. Can you identify any of his contributions? Uh, sir, Mayan about Mayan Rishi, sir, I don't, I don't, I'm not aware you of. You only Mayan. know the name. Yes, sir, I know the name. Which period he belonged to? Sir, it is a story of very ancient times. Sir, I think during the time of uh, Vedic time, I think okay. very old saint. Thank you, uh, Shreya. Yeah. Uh, there was a famous case in uh, way back in 2015 known as uh, Shreya Singhal versus Union of India. Yes, sir. Can you tell me the background of this particular case and what was the ruling in this case? Sir, I have heard about the name, but at the moment I can't recall the case. No issues. So you have. Uh, Uh, you are pursuing your studies of uh, B.A. from Chaudhary Charan Singh University. Yes, sir. It is very right that uh, uh, Chaudhary Charan Singh uh, ji has been, though posthumously, awarded Bharat Ratna. Yes, sir. Can you please tell me uh, what all entitlements accrue to a person who has been awarded Bharat Ratna? Yes, sir. Sir, cash prize is there. Uh, how much? Sir, I am not sure, but there is no cash prize in Bharat Ratna. There is no cash prize. okay can you please tell me uh, can you please describe the memento that is given uh, as a, uh, as a mark of bharat ratna uh, sir uh, i only know that it's in the shape of a people leaf people leaf yeah. there are two sides right the the front side is uh, called obverse yes. and the back side is called reverse can you please tell me what all is uh, inscribed there in the front and the back side and what all is written there uh, no sir i can't no issues can you please tell me uh, uh, what ails uh, our public health system in most of the states i mean uh, public health system is in bad shape there is no doubt about this oh, where does the fault line lie and what should be done to improve upon the situation sir i think the what i have seen according to what i have seen is the bad situation of the primary health centers in most of the places even delhi also so what could be the reason you mean uh, the people the in terms of resources uh, we are lacking the people who are manning important positions they are not you know uh, indulging into professional discharge of their assigned duties what could be the possible reason and what explains our failure we know about the uh, problems but we are not able to rectify because it's a very very essential and uh, important uh, service delivery as such sir the problems sir uh, for at the administrative level also i think there should be uh some check on the for example sir in mohalla clinics which are in delhi which they are example of primary health care center there should be check on the doctors who are attending the patients and then sir i would also like to say about the doctor patient ratio in india that is very less so there are very less doctors for the number of patient who are in india so that could be improved okay two two issues you have highlighted can you mm-hmm. suggest some remedies to overcome this you know problems sir for the second one which i said the doctor issue we can have more uh, medical colleges like we are planning for a medical college in rewadi aims area so the fund is not released yet so we need more medical colleges for the first one and sir for the second one uh, both things moral persuasion of the doctor and uh, the check also checks and balances on whether they are attending the patients uh, you are pursuing your ba as well right yes tell me uh, more than teaching science commerce uh, arts 
it's very necessary that if you want to produce uh, uh, a generation of youth who will be forthcoming to take up social challenges it is necessary that we we, we need to impart training in moral education yes where do you see uh, the uh, uh, weightage of uh, moral education in entire scheme of educational things so first thing is that when we study moral science at the school level we have the exams but the marks are not counted so we don't have we don't feel that pressure we don't feel that we have to do this as our academic subject so i think sir moral values should be credited credited in the academics of the students so that will lead to the students studying the moral values and sir a proper curriculum sir for example we should include the bhagavad gita and all the western philosophers they also proper syllabus for the moral system should be there what is do you suggest uh, i mean in order to make the syllabus of uh, moral education more uh, inclusive yes. uh, are you suggesting that uh, you know scriptures or references from bhagavad gita should be incorporated in that or uh, we should have a broad based approach while including good things from different religions yes sir good things from all the religions for example bhagavad gita whatever it teaches then sir even some tribals they have their own religion they have their own information about they have their own moral stories so we should include them also can you quote be. can you quote a few references from uh, christianity yes. which actually you know uh, goes well with the system of uh, moral education so christianity uh, christianity says one line is there for the neighbors love thy neighbor as thy own that means we should be in sync or we should be behaving well with our neighbors so this could be one moral value my last question to you shreya uh, who has been the most inspiring woman of your life uh, my mother why sir for me she has done a lot of things that's why and when i whenever i see her face it's like a huge motivation she is the wind below my wings thank you shreya Yes, sir. Yesterday, the consumer price index number has been released, right? Yes. Sir. It is slightly over five percent. What is the importance of this number? Sir, it is consumer a uh, CPI. Ah, right. Yes. Consumer sir. price index. Yes, sir. Um, uh, RBI's monetary policy always try to regulate inflation uh -huh. in terms of CPI. Yeah. Sir, it is an indicative of the economic growth and the price rise that is taking place in our economy. So, so this is the importance okay, that. Okay. So. Which CPI exactly RBI targets? There are three sets of CPI. Yes, sir. CPI urban is there. CPI rural is there. CPI combined is there. Sir, we uh, CPI combined. Right. Yes. Sir. And what is the difference between CPI urban and rural? Why two different sets of consumer price index? Sir, rural and urban uh, demand supplies are way different. So that's why. so for example in urban we have logistics also mm -hmm. and raw materials is bought from a, a far off land mm -hmm. but in rural places the case is different so even the people buying things the expenditure right on what they are spending their money that is different fine as a student of zoology yes sir please tell us about this ethics of food for example in india we have so many ethical standards which is attached with whether we should eat vegetarian food or non vegetarian food so as a student of geology what is your take on it which is more ethical sir uh, as a student of zoology sir we have studied that there is a food chain and humans are on a very upper side of that oh. food chain mm. so we can eat whatever we want like sir we have teeth which are of a omnivore animal we can eat vegetarian and we can eat non vegetarian food also but sir uh, studies has shown that the vegetarian people they have lived longer mm -hmm. some researches are there on uh, reducing our calorie intake right. can increase our life span so sir i think it is moral to eat vegetarian food when we can also save the animals and we can also live longer right can you give us some idea about some of the invasive species that we see around us uh sir one is camara lantana which we see what is that sir so uh, very common can... kind of invasive species which is i mean surrounding us uh sir very common sir parthenium hystrophorus 
right? So, why these kind of species are a challenge to biodiversity or maybe ecological balance? Sir, whenever these invasive species, they invade an area, huh? sir, they just uh, compete for the resources like food, uh, water and the soil and they uh, would extinct the other natural habitat. So, other species, they would make them to extinct. Right. India is undergoing a three-stage nuclear program, right? Yes, sir. Can you tell us what exactly this three-stage program is? Yes, sir. So, this three-stage nuclear program was the brainchild of Homi Bhava. Mm -hmm. So, when he realized that India has large reserves of thorium compared to, to the world, so he devised this program. So, in this, at the first stage, we would use uranium-238 mm -hmm. along with uranium-235, which is the fissionable material. In the second stage, we will produce plutonium-239 and we will use plutonium-239. It is a breeder reactor. That means the plutonium would be used and plutonium would be produced as well. And sir, then in the third stage, we would use our thorium reserves. Right. So, despite of having so much of storage of thorium and a well-structured three-stage program, we are now more focusing on other kind of energy sources like solar, wind, etc. Yes, Why is sir. it so? Sir, it's not good to keep all the eggs in one basket, mm. especially when uh, we have all these things. Like India, we have a good uh, potential for solar energy and potential for wind energy also. So, see, sir, we should sh look into other… Any specific threat re related to nuclear energy? Yes, sir. The health hazards which are related to the nuclear waste that is generated. Right. My last question to you is that uh, as per you, what is the likelihood of an India-China war kind of scenario coming up in next two, three years? Your opinion on it? Sir, China is playing a different kind of war. There would not be a full-fledged war, I think. So, they are playing a shadow war. So, sir… What is that? So, they would uh, create a war-like situation to the level that it do not escalate to a full-fledged war. Mm -hmm. And then they would retreat back. So, what kind of strategic advantage they have in this kind of situation? Sir, one is that they are economically very vibrant. Mm -hmm. And, uh, sir, geographically also they are located well. Fine. Thank you, Shreya. Sir. Yes. Okay. Thank you very much, Shreya. Your interview yes, is sir. over. You may go now. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Sit down, Shreya. Sir. When is your interview? Sir, 28th 28th March. March. Okay. Which uh, attempt is this? Sir, first attempt. Very first attempt. Sir, for the interview. No, no, all together. That's a third attempt. Third attempt. And first means and first interview. Yes, sir. So how was your uh, experience today? Sir, it was nice. I think I could express my feelings. You are a good candidate, Shreya. Yes, sir. The only thing which uh, we have observed that uh, Suddenly, abruptly, you end your conversation on any issue. Yes. Sir. Suppose the moment you start generating interest in us, yes, you sir. just cut it short. So yes, try sir. to be more engaging in your attitude. Okay. Meaning thereby that if you say any question, see what are the issues involved and all that, try to be more specific and okay. uh, more points can be uh, given on certain yes, issues. Sir. What questions will be asked? Very difficult for us to tell you, yes, isn't, sir. isn't it? But you see, you have studied uh, geology, yes. did your graduation, post-graduation and then be it. So, these are three areas and you have opted for geology also. Yes, sir. So, well. these are a few areas where some questions will be asked. What type of questions will be asked? Very difficult for us to tell you also. But basically, you see what is happening in the country, particularly in the context of climate change and all that and relevance of uh, geology. Mm. So, like the impact of uh, climate change on the uh, animals, how climate change impacts the anima animal's behavior, that is a big uh, issue. Then uh, conservation is a very important uh, issue for the government. So, how country should uh, balance conservation with yes, our sir. developmental priorities, yes, because sir. there are two very contrasting things happening. One is our developmental priorities, other is your ecological balance, environment and conservation uh, protection. So, 
what should be our policy to develop a sort of a win win situation yes sir so those kind of general questions will be there then specific questions you only uh, said about uh, kerala and all that in the context of uh, human uh, animal conflict so read about the re- uh, demand of the state government of kerala what are their demand from the central government yes, sir. Uh, with respect to the wildlife Pro- production act what amendments is, uh, they are wanting why they are wanting to declare wild boar as vermin that is one of the uh, demands of the uh, state government so read about that so zoology will be one uh, your uh, new education policy we tried to cover and yes. you, you appear to be quite knowledgeable on uh, you had uh, you have the knowledge in everything it's not that you are lacking knowledge yes. only thing is let's try to be slightly more engaging in in your conversation then uh, Bharat Ratna, you are not supposed to be forgetting. Yes, sir. Bharat Ratna Award, you are not supposed to be forgetting. So, and Chavi uh, Charan Singh Ji was conferred with this. this, this these uh, awards are conferred. It is uh, not cash award or anything of that sort. Mm, yes, sir. So, okay. b- b- be clear about that. Women Reservation Bill is is a very uh, contemporary topic, very current topic. Uh, you should be fully aware about of the various uh, implications of this bill. Why uh, this bill is uh, uh, has been passed with two conditions, like uh, delimitation. You must have heard about that, and census also you have heard. Why these two provisos have been added while passing the bill <coughs> and making an act? What is the significance of delimitation and uh, your uh, census? You have studied in uh, Khalsa College. which is why uh, question was asked about the gurus and all that if you remember is good but uh, if you don't remember admit plainly that i don't remember but it's always better to because these are anticipated questions where maybe yes, some uh, questions will be uh, may be asked on the public health issues also which we discussed with you try to up, uh, update your information yes sir and women said particularly women centric issues and all that try to uh, uh, update your information rashtriya vigyan puraskar by and large uh, you try to um, answer the question to the best of your abilities but something more is there in that if you have time read about that uh, because this question may be asked may not be asked then you are uh, about uh, uttar pradesh very general questions were asked about the uh, women who have inspired you from uttar pradesh and all that or a name of any place uh, based on a uh, women's name and all that so such questions come as a, a surprise question yes sir which you don't expect which is not there in your uh, there your uh, presence of mind is very essential try to collect your ideas quickly whether you can remember anything or not A hey, Sitapur is a big uh, known to everybody. Yes. So Sitapur is there. Even your uh, Lakhimpur is based on uh, Lord uh, Goddess Lakshmi. So that kind of a thing. And uh, your uh, you are from Lucknow, I believe. Sir, I am from Mainpuri. Mainpuri. Okay. So in the context of Lucknow, Hazrat Mahal, Begum Hazrat Mahal's name mm. is uh, important. So and your eye contact. two th- things are very important your eye contact eye yes, contact sir. you should be maintaining your eye contact all through the session yes, uh, what we have noticed that at times you start looking up that should not <laughs> sir be when i am recollecting my thoughts ha uh, it, it is a, i i can uh, understand this is a, a problem with uh, many individuals when you start recollecting you start looking up and all that try not to do that okay, if you are able to try not to do that so that you maintain a constant eye contact then when you entered your entry was not very smart yes sir the moment you enter enter like a smart girl an enthusiast you should be bubbling with enthusiasm a happy girl with a uh, smile on face that is very important because uh, all through you appear to be very serious and very i mean apprehensive yes sir you should look like a very natural person yes okay and give uh, your answers honestly yes no no guess work okay sir make sure that you don't ever make any guess one guess will 
impact your personality test. So, like, if I don't know the answer, then sis, sorry, sir, I'm not aware. Yes. Better ends. Better ends. This is a test of your personality, yes, not sir. the quiz competition, mm -hmm. isn't yes, it? Sir. If you don't know, the board will also like to see whether this girl is really honest or or she she speaks even without uh, knowledge. Knowledge. Okay. Make sure that doesn't happen. Okay. You in the turn you'll get very good marks also. You are, you have all the potential of uh, getting good marks. Yes, sir. Only thing is that certain things which you have just not discussed, try to work on that. Okay. You'll do much better than what you did today. Okay. Nothing wrong as such today, but mm -hmm. there is a element of improvement. Improvement. Also. Okay. All the best to you. Thank All you so much, sir. Anything sir, else you want to ask? No, sir. That's all. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir.